Brandon Armstrong is an NBA impersonator and God, is he really, really good at his job. He does play in the D-League, was drafted by the Rockets way back when in 2001. Nice. 23rd overall pick. Mm -hmm. Did not pan out so well in the NBA, but what he can do is replicate almost any NBA player, their moves, their personalities, their celebrations to a T. Absolutely. With I mean, I, you know it resonates well when you've got someone here who is a basketball fan. Enthusiast. I like saying enthusiast because I like to remember when Ben tried to impersonate it. Sports enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's uh, when it resonates well with me. When he, does, when he reincarnates these motions, I'm like, that is spot on. Yeah. His Derrick Rose one is my uh, personal favorite. We'll get to Derrick Rose towards the end because it was a buzzer beater. I want to see that. That would make sense with the clip. But first, we start with James Harden. <laughs> Two specific ones. One, his step backs, literally 16 times. It's great. It's great. It's spot on. But we'll just keep moving through these because uh, this is the one that actually started the impressions, I believe. Uh, he was doing celebrations and how NBA players like interact, but this is the one that went viral first and even got the attention of Russell Westbrook when he tweeted out, LOL, ha ha ha, emoji, yeah. emoji, emoji. Let's take a look at his Russell Westbrook impression. plays with a lot of energy. Yeah. It's, and that, so well, does Brandon Armstrong. The thing about him is, is you, you mentioned it as well, like it's no surprise that he was drafted at one point. I mean, he's got skills, especially right. in the James Harden clip, but some of those dribbling uh, moves are he's unbelievable. Got, I mean, look, here's what I've always said. It's like, it's really tough. You should never say any NBA player sucks mm -hmm. because they can school anybody in, even those who played in college that don't make the draft. Yeah. There's a major difference between the level of talent. Uh, this guy is a developmental league player. He's had a, I mean, I would consider that not exactly successful, yep. but he's finding a way to at least have success yep. uh, in life, including uh, Tim Duncan impersonation. My favorite by far. So my my knowledge of Tim Duncan is uh, expanding. I would say you showed me the commercial with yeah. him and uh, the Foot Locker uh, the Foot Locker advertisement. Russell Westbrook calls him up. I'm so excited. I can only explain how excited I'm. Like he's a big he's a calm guy on the court. Yeah. And um, that for me is that the way he celebrates whenever he's yeah. Scored? So when he the won first? the last NBA championship in 2013 2014, 13, he, yeah. just, he just he <laughs> just. It's <laughs> spot on. He's really calm. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't let his emotions get the better of him on the court. Uh, he's the most fundamental basketball player we've ever seen. The example I can make so you understand perfectly. No, I got it. Philip Lahm. Got it. In Germany, not to get too much into the soccer stuff, but uh, Philip Lahm, the people, like the coaches always said, if you want to learn fundamental football skills, you just watch highlights of him. If you want to learn fundamental basketball, not flashy, but straight, use the backboard. Amazing footwork. You watch Tim Duncan play. He's one of the greatest, he's the top 10 greatest player of all time, for sure. And for the record, that was Jason LeBron of soccer there. So the commentators are, what does Francis always bring up? Soccer. <laughs> Can you hold it longer every time? I, I'm going to try and break my record one time. One time. But well, let's get to my favorite. Uh, your favorite is Derek Rose. Remember hitting the buzzer beater uh, and had a fantastic celebration afterwards. Rose trying to get open, fires away. They're just carrying him out of the stadium. 
Uh, you can follow Brandon Armstrong at b.a.1 on Twitter. Uh, he's on Instagram. That's where he posts a lot of these videos. Or if you wanted to, type into Google Brandon Armstrong impersonations. There are tons. He's got. Yeah. He's on YouTube. You really can find him anywhere. We'll leave some links in the description because we do love this guy. We want him we, to we, do We should get him in more. here. Who would you want to see him do an impression of next? Uh, in terms of basketball, I want to see him LeBron James. I mean, that's mm -hmm. standard because I, I would want to see how inventive he would get. Maybe... I don't know. What do you think? Who, who's someone that's so notable on the court that they have something that people should impersonate? Would love to see if you can pull off Steph Curry. Steph Curry. I, was I think say. that's a really tough one to do because I mean Steph Curry doesn't have really that, as many celebrations as like James Harden does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> um, Steph Curry or like I want to see the old school celebrations. Let's see him do Jordan. Let's see him do Olajuwon. Let's see him do Shaq and Kobe and all these guys. I like to see great. him do Shaq. You have to thank our fans, right? We have to thank our fans because right now. Why? But why do we have to thank our fans? As of right now. I, I'm sure we've uh, surpassed it, but uh, as of the day this was shot, we reached 200,000 subs. Oh. 200,000 subs. So thank you guys again for uh, following us, staying true to all the bullshit that we talk about and the guff that we spew towards each other. It's myself and Jason. This is it. It's a dynamic duo. Seriously, big old thank you to our fans and subscribers and the new ones that are coming in because we love you guys too. Uh, fun clips coming up. Uh, this one is going to be scheduled for when, Dan? <laughs> Saturday, okay. We have a lot of fun clips for this weekend specifically. You're going to see Q&As out there. It might have already been posted. Please check that one out. Uh, and we continue to bring more FIFA What If challenges. And, of course, more nice. fun clips like the NBA impersonators. Uh, what do you think of this guy? Who do you want to see him impersonate next? Leave all your comments in the comments section below. Check us out on Twitter at TYT Sports, Facebook.com slash TYT Sports. Francis Maxwell, Jason Rubin. We'll see you next time.